welcome back everyone so today i will be talking about the power of power drain and i'm very sure that many of you might have heard about the power flash while troubleshooting many kind of windows pc and laptop problem now while using our windows pc and laptop our static charge remain on the computer motherboard and run around it even after turning off the computer and even after removing the laptop battery too and this power is called the flea power so performing the power flash can drain all this static charge and doing so can fix many kind of computer problem like all the light on the laptops are blinking but not booting up many kind of wi-fi and a bluetooth problem usb ports are not detecting any kind of devices getting several type of blue screen error and even many times the computer audio the sound is not working so if you know exactly how to do the power flash and if you face any kind of similar problem in the future then you can easily perform a power flash to quickly fix many kind of problem so without any delay let's quickly get started now the process of performing the power flash is almost same for your pc and laptop if you're using a desktop then you will have to shut it down after shutting down you have to remove all kind of cable like the power cable the vga cable any kind of external devices connected to it you have to remove each and everything once unplugged you have to press and hold the power button for like 30 seconds keep holding it and after 30 seconds reconnect all kind of power cable vga cable all kind of your devices then turn on the computer back again and check back i'm very sure that many problem will be surely fixed on your computer same you have to do on your laptop if you are using a laptop with a removable battery then you have to remove the battery unplug the charger unplug all kind of devices connected to your laptop once disconnected now you have to again press and hold the power button on your laptop for 30 seconds keep holding it and after 30 seconds now you can connect your charger and turn on your laptop and this time you will find that many kind of problem has been fixed and now so far i'm very sure that you found this process very easy to perform and that is why it's recommended that you should know this step in the future and if you have any kind of blue screen any kind of wi-fi or audio problem then go ahead and quickly perform a power flash and that's all guys for today's quick video hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye